x squared equals 5 plus y, and y squared equals 5 plus x. Solve for the value of x times y. By the way, x and y are not equal. First of all, observe x squared, y squared, they are the left hand side. 5 plus y, 5 plus x, they are the right hand side. The right hand sides are both linear and the left hand sides are quadratic terms. So, for dealing with the value of product of x times y, you should notice squared squared. If they appear squared, so maybe we can use this formula. a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b then times a minus b. So our first step should be if we can sort these two equations. Hmm. Maybe this is the first equation. Hmm, this is the second equation. So first step should be let these two equations be subtracted. The first equation minus the second equation. The left hand side is x squared minus y squared. And what about the right hand side? And the right hand side is 5 plus y, the minus with bracket. Please notice it. Bracket 5 plus x. Our next step x squared minus y squared. is equal to 5 plus y then minus 5 minus x. It is 5 minus 5 cancel y minus x. Now since the right hand side is still a term, usually we want the right hand side be equal to 0. So we should do. Yes, we can subtract the right hand side from the both hand sides. So it is x squared minus y squared. Here is minus x, and we should add an x and then subtract this y. And it'll be 0. How should you with the left hand side? Usually by factorizing x squared minus y squared, the famous identity it is equal to x minus y and then times x plus y and then plus x minus y. Now, here I add a bracket. x minus y, x minus y. And we can take it out. So, it'll be x minus y and then times x plus y plus 1 is 0. So left hand side is a product and the right hand side is 0. So this is equal to 0 or this equals 0. But we know that x is not equal to y since we are given that x is not equal to y. Here, take a look, if you forgot. So that means x minus y can't be zero. So our only case is when x plus y plus 1 is equal to zero. So x plus y plus 1 is 0. Now, subtract 1 from the both sides and x plus y is negative 1. We have to solve the value of x times y, not x plus y. So, what should you do? If you want to get 
the multiplication of x and y. What should you do on this term? Of course, the answer is raise the both sides to the power two. Take a square on the both sides. x plus y, all squared, is minus 1, all squared. The famous identity, x plus y, all squared, is x squared plus 2xy, then plus y squared. And the right-hand side, negative 1, all squared, is 1. Here appears xy. But now we have a new problem. How should we deal with these two guys? Take a look at our original equation. x squared is 5 plus y. And y squared is 5 plus x. So now we can add these two equations together. So 1 plus 2, we add them together, and we can get the left hand side is x squared plus y squared, and the right hand side is the sum of 5 plus y plus 5 plus x. It is 10 plus x plus y. But we know that x plus y, the sum of x and y, is minus 1. So 10 plus x plus y is just 10 plus minus 1 is 9. So the value of x squared plus y squared is 9. The sum of them is 9. 9 plus 2xy is 1. And we can subtract 9 from the both sides. You can get x times y. Oh, here is also 2. 2 times x times y is equal to 1 minus 9 is minus 8. So the product of x and y, x times y, is negative 8 divided by 2. So the answer is... x times y is negative 4. Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.